second segment in today's show. These Urban Times Live Hip Hop Daily present sideline stories live in downtown Atlanta at the Live Hip Hop Daily Studios will be dedicated to LeBron James and my Los Angeles Lakers. Now, first and foremost, right. you know, I must say I am thrilled that the Lakers are relevant again. It's been some time since, you know, we've had some things to bag, brag and boast about. And although not a game has been played, there's a key marquee free agent, the marquee free agent, who was signed this offseason by the L.A. Lakers. But before we get into that, we're, jo- we're joined at the desk right now by a Los Angeles native, a gentleman that's doing this thing in both hip-hop and as an entrepreneur. Why don't you introduce yourself, sir? What up, what up, what up? It's Chief Green, a.k.a. 420 on the mic. We in here uh, about to talk some sports. Laker gang, we back, baby. Now, you I, know this. as I mentioned, you're from Los Angeles, but you, do, you also do things as an entrepreneur in the cannabis field. Talk to us briefly about what you have going on in that realm. Yes, I'm a budding entrepreneur. Um, I am the owner of Chief's Green Lemonade. You can follow us on Instagram. Uh, we are introducing some new things this summer. We just dropped the Potsicle. Uh, so fuck with your boy. We got some uh, movement going on in L.A. You can catch us at Blessed Love um, gift shop on Vernon and Western uh, and hopefully by the end of this year with the new laws that drop July 1st we'll be in some dispensaries as well. We well, appreciate your time this evening and I thank you for coming and giving us your insight as a native of Los Angeles and a oh, lifelong Laker fan. So as we mentioned you know you see this brother right here repping it and 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 I, what is that? The Prince? Is that the Prince? No, that's hey, your man, that's right LeBron now. James. You know, like, LeBron LeBron James. James. The basketball player LeBron formerly known James. as. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. Hey, I look, don't know. In the words of I'm on my Shannon, I'm on my uh, what's names? Shannon Sharp. So if you want to talk about the king, you might well wear the crown. So, you, know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hurt. Hey, so we're gonna talk about LeBron. Let's go talk about him. What's up? So LeBron James, the newest Los Angeles Laker, he signed a four-year deal, 154 Jesus. million dollars, and you know Magic Johnson's let it be known. They were on the on the West Coast, of course. So free agency started at twelve oh one on the East Coast. It was nine oh one out in Los Angeles. It was at his house. Magic was at his house at eight oh one, just sitting at the gate waiting. Eating. LeBron James is now a lost a member of the Los Angeles Laker. And you know, if you're in tune with sports or if you're in tune with going on in the hip hop realm in general, sports and entertainment. It's been about 50-50. There's some Laker fans who are, you know, ecstatic and that's, thrilled about this true. new move. Mm. And then you have some Laker fans who are not digging the move. So we know we also got to talk about LeBron didn't come along. LeBron didn't come along. We know about the young cast. Now, I'm a big fan already of Lonzo Ball. I think the gentleman is a phenomenal talent. I also love Brandon Ingram and Kyle Kuzma. I think those two Kuz, cats right there Kuz, are two like great Kuz. talents. So I'm interested to see how LeBron helps them grow. Also in this offseason so far, the Lakers have brought over Rajon Rondo, Dope. former NBA champion. He's played with the Boston Celtics, Chicago Bulls, most recently New Orleans Pelicans. Yep. Also brought over Lance Stevenson. Now, many who may not be very familiar with <laughs> basketball, I'm quite sure you've seen the memes of Lance Stevenson in an Indiana Pacer jersey blowing in the face of LeBron James as a oh, member of the Miami man. Heat. And they also brought over former Golden State Warriors. Shaq and the Fools. Shaq and the Fools on Mr. <laughs> JaVale McGee. So the Lakers have a new fan base, oh, a new core, man. rather. So I want to ask both of you gentlemen, and we'll actually start with you. Okay. What were your thoughts when LeBron came to was signed with L.A.? And what are your thoughts on the free agents that have come along to L.A. with him? With him? All right. Um, I'm just happy, first of all, because having LeBron on the team, as soon as I heard we had LeBron, I'm like, shh, we're back in the playoffs, baby. That just extends my season. I can just watch <laughs> basketball with more enthusiasm now. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, it's all love. West Coast baby this, West Coast baby that. Golden State this, you know. Shout out to the West Coast. Mm, yeah. Real <laughs> shit. I remember when the Lakers was doing their thing with Kobe, just living in Atlanta. My bad. Uh, but the Lakers, I, I fuck with them. I'm glad we got them. I'm glad we got them. Very much so. What are you, what are your thoughts? How are you feeling on everything? I mean, it wasn't a big it, it wasn't a big surprise. Okay. I, mean, I wasn't surprised about the move. Kind of had those uh, thoughts about him going there after the season, especially after uh, what we happened. We spoke on it last summer. We last summer, gave a prediction that LeBron you did. Be I, going I there. Hey, I'm a, I need you to uh, pick my lotto numbers. Okay? <laughs> I need you to pick my numbers. So I wasn't all the way to correct because I thought, I thought Paul George was going to join him. I, mean, ah. I told people that during the season, I said Paul George ain't going nowhere. 
I said, Paul George is country. So he ain't going nowhere. Hilarious. Exactly. He's country, man. That boy wow. like the fish. So the boy went going, <laughs> wow. that boy went going to, uh, back to California. I mean, I'm sorry, Lakers fans, but, you know, y'all got LeBron. So we're in the back on the subject. Hmm. You know, it's, it's going to be it's gonna be very interesting. It's going to be very weird seeing him in purple and gold. I agree uh, with you there. Because, I mean, I, I remember seeing him in the Miami uniform. It's like, all right, it's going to take a, like two and a half months to get used to seeing this. And then seeing him in purple goes like, all right, you twenty, you twenty three, Kobe was twenty four. It's gonna be kind of weird, but I mean, hey, it's 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 gonna be a very entertaining season. It's definitely, it's, the power ship, the power ship is already in the West, but it's definitely in the West now. Man. So we you got LeBron there now. You got my twelve of the top fifteen players in the crazy. NBA are in the Western That's Conference. That's crazy. Now. That's crazy. Twelve <laughs> of the top fifteen players in the NBA Shit, really? and five on are, one team are in the Western Conference. And yeah, five, five on, on one, one team. team. We're not going. Are we talking about them? Are we going to talk about them? No, we're not going to talk about them today. We're going to let them be no. great. Good, yeah, yeah. Let's not talk about them today. But uh, we are going to talk about Boogie Cousins later on. But that's yeah, we, yeah. Let's talk about him too. But uh, it's going to be a very interesting season. You know, it's going to be it's going to be a process. LeBron will have to uh, very really show his leadership with young guys because he never really had a young team. But what about the what I'm about the work, additions? Though. Like I say, Rondo, say, yeah. Lance, Lance. Javel, they aren't those are spark those, they aren't yeah. young players. They're, you know, they're veterans players. In, the, in the league. So what are you gentlemen's thoughts on them I being? Think. Me personally, it's going to take a long time to get used to seeing LeBron and Purple and Gold. I'll just have to be honest about it. I mean, you know, I'm glad that the Lakers are relevant again. I'm <laughs> not glad and I'm not happy about the LeBron stands who will be coming over and joining that Laker part. Nation. Hey man, y'all know y'all know that he go to Australia. They're going with, with him. him. Take their asses to Australia. We don't need that in, in, in LA. So, Look, it's Laker, Laker Nation, Braun Nation. So I, I, I really don't think that any of the Laker fans, honestly, not, are not feeling the LeBron trade. It's not like we're hating. It's like the real Laker fans is just the Braun sexuals that are coming with him. It's like <laughs> the, the big, the big uh, bandwagon. You know what I'm saying? It's like, ah, uh, you know what I'm saying? They, they got a bad reputation. So, you know. Now that LeBron's on the Lakers, you guys are not Bron sexuals anymore. You're Laker fans. It's yeah, Laker we, we game. Gotta, we we gotta, all we, unite. We carry uh, ourselves differently. I, that, hey, I'm gonna use it. I like that. That's, I've never heard Bron say. You know, oh, I, I, shout out I, to my I, man Dewan Brown. I've, I've seen, I've seen the memes that. going around. You know, like <laughs> ah, Laker Nation and the Bron sexuals have to unite, and there was like a blood and a crypt that was oh, yeah. united together. <laughs> like, you yeah. know, it's like we are one. <laughs> we are one. We are one. We are one. gold now. We are one. Okay, so we know LeBron has some new teammates. We know that, me personally, I think the move was great for him off the court because we'll get to see what he's able to do in the movie and entertainment realm. But there, as we mentioned, there have been fans who have been 50-50 on on the situation. And one thing that stood out to me was a mural that was actually created. It was in Venice Beach. The the mural was created in Venice. Very nice mural. It was nice. But it it stirred some people the wrong way because it was titled King of L.A. It definitely was premature. premature. Now, me personally, I also, I took some offense to that. You know, I'm like, wow, King of L.A., he hasn't played a game in purple and gold yet, hasn't even practiced. And, you know, my critics were, oh, here's a LeBron hater. I'm like, no, Mm -hmm. you know, like, one thing that, Pedigree. For Laker fan, yeah, it's a pedi- You have to mm-hmm. win here. You know, this isn't no disrespect to Cleveland. This isn't order. Cleveland. This isn't it's Miami. For us. You know, yeah. this is greatness. When you put it's on that purple order. and gold, it's greatness. It's magic. It's Kobe. It's Kareem. You know, this, this is greatness that comes Shaq. with that. Yeah. And although LeBron is a great player, one of the greatest players we have ever seen, right. we, one of the greatest players we have ever seen, a new chapter is born in LeBron's career. What will he do as a Laker? You know, God forbid, who's to say, what if we don't make the playoffs? What if he doesn't deliver a championship in those four years so there were fans who weren't really digging oh, lord. the king of la oh lord it would be like hey, that hey, like hey, that you know honest, hey to be honest his oh, best bet god. in la he, he better deliver something in his best bet like i don't think none of us are thinking about what is yeah, really. you know yeah, steph curry something. already let it be known in a recent yeah. interview you know yeah. all these moves are cute but we you still got to beat us. You still got and that's very very true you know that's they man. still still have to beat them so we know that there was a wonderful mural that was created. It was a beautiful mural. I must give give, give credit to the Hard artist. That, yeah, Hardy was dope. A very dope mural. But some Laker fans took offense to that. One Laker fan actually took the social media saying he would pay someone three hundred dollars to go destroy the mural, and That's it was done. It, it was actually done a few times. You had one gentleman who ran up with some yellow paint and kind of just splashed the yellow paint on the mural. Then you had another cat that came with spray paint that kind of crossed out the king. 
and put not our king. We don't want you. And 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 LeBron's NBA Finals record of three and six. That was kind of creative, though. <laughs> so it was dirty, but it was kind of. I, I, I have to we ask you, as, as being wanna. right now with the dust, the, the the native of Los Angeles. How do you see it? You know, some people are saying, oh, those are just Kobe supporters who don't want to see, you know, LeBron better than Kobe. You had some people who were saying, you know, these are just people who understand the pedigree of the Los Angeles Lakers. So what what were your thoughts when you saw the the, the vandalism of the mural? And why do you feel people are doing that? I laughed. Um, (laughs) I know why, because like I said, it's it's the pedigree. It, It was a little, not a little, it was a lot premature. You know what I'm saying? He is the king. Of Cleveland, Miami, not of LA. You know what I'm saying? We, like you said, we got Shaq, Kobe, Magic, Kareem. Like for us, we got the, the logo, right? Like it's Lakers, dude. Like he got to bring us a chip. Then if he bring us a chip, then shit, I I feel sorry for Kobe. If he bring us one chip, I will feel sorry for Kobe. And that ain't me saying that. I just man. We've been thirsty for so long. You feel me? If he bring us one chip, it's like it's on now, right? She. Uh, uh, we la- we won in two thousand and ten. Two thousand ten. Two thousand ten. It's been about five, five, four, five years. years. So, we so it's like we so hungry, boy. They about to he about to skip two. He about to pass what? Go to jail? What is how's it go? Going yeah. Straight, <laughs> yes, <laughs> he going straight to go. He collect two hundred straight up if he if he bring us a chip. Say so if he. If he brings a chip, I mean, yeah, I echo what he said. It's gonna be, it's gonna be something that's never been done. Somebody win three championships in three different cities, that three part, different teams. I didn't think about that. So you know, one in Cleveland. I mean, I mean, it's, it's gonna happen. History, right? I mean, it's gonna make history. I mean, but it's also you got to get somebody else there. Now, getting back to the topic of the vandalism, it was very premature. Like, I mean, I understand y'all excited. You know, y'all got LeBron. Okay, it's cool. So. Can't go. You can't go put the man, the king of the king of L.A. He ain't been there, but he ain't been there ain't too been much there. yet. Not living That's consistently. About, I mean, yeah, I mean, I know it's social media talking about it's everything on every sports channel and everything is what LeBron did this. It up first. Yeah, it's, it's thirst right now. So I mean, let the hype die down. Let your training camp see what else they got going on. See if they can make something else happen with the whole uh, yes Kawhi thing. If that happens. But me personally, I don't, I don't think I don't see it happening this year possibly. But I mean, it's, we could wait a year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all definitely wait a year for him. But who's to say he goes to LA? Who's to say he don't go to the other team around the corner? I mean, uh, down the hallway. If he's stupid, he Clippers? would. Clippers. If he's stupid, he would. I'm trying. Hey, y'all got y'all had the logo right. All right, Jerry West. Hey, Jerry West. Yeah, he's he's not he's not going there. I I can't, I, <laughs> I agree with both of you gentlemen though, and what you're saying like. The Lakers playing for the Lakers is like playing in no almost no other no other team in sports. You have the Yankees, Yankees, Yankees. and you have the Lakers. You know, like it is a, Knicks. <laughs> <laughs> to the Knicks. That our that our producer H in the Knicks. background just say the Knicks. Man, look, even though your head. Everybody want to play in the Garden? No, yeah, vision teams. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the visiting teams. That's why everybody goes and busts Knicks up, and that's why LeBron's. I'm the king of New York. I go there twice. Well, once a year now, and I'm gonna average fifty there. And yeah, no one wants to play for the Knicks. Y'all might get man. Kyrie. Y'all might get Kyrie and Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler's watch, man. Can we just can we just go can we just go oh, ahead and oh, throw that out there? Hey, that's disrespectful. That's How, what have we seen Jimmy Butler do? You know, like. I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see Jimmy Butler do something in Minnesota. Jimmy Butler's doing a lot of talk via social media. I mean, let's see, let's see, him, let's see what he does without Coach Tibbs, and let's see him actually put up some All Star numbers. Come on, Jimmy Butler, you got the talent to do it. You're doing all this talking I mean, about Carl Anthony Towns and, uh, and I mean, Wiggins. I, I, I get why he, I get why he said that, but also, I mean, he did put up All Star numbers uh, the year with uh, with was Fred, Fred Hoiberg. Fred Hoiberg. And Jimmy was the man he's ever with. 24? I'm going to sip my, you know what I mean, right here. Yeah, yeah. Drink that in, in your Philadelphia cup. Okay? They, don't, they don't play for the Lakers no way, so. <laughs> he might he might want to go there. Who knows? Y'all, y'all got to get somebody. Yeah, I mean, I, I dig it. But I'm, I'm just, I, I want to see more from Jimmy Butler. Because I think he's a phenomenal talent. And I just, I haven't seen that. Where he's been injured a lot as of recently. I just, I don't think, oh, Jimmy Butler and Kyrie going to the Knicks is going to save the Knicks. Kyrie, yes. I think Kyrie has a lot left in him. Jimmy Butler, ah. I'm kind of skeptical, kind of kind of skeptical on that move. I I, I I honestly would rather see Kyrie and Bradley Bill end up in in, in New York 
than I would Jimmy and, Butler. And Porzingis, I could I could see that won't be bad. But there there aren't there haven't been a lot of people who even in the, in the realms of NBA executives who are loving the move that LeBron James the, the logo mm-hmm. Jerry West <laughs> someone mm-hmm. who played for the Los Angeles Lakers as we mentioned he's the logo of the NBA. If y'all didn't know that he, he, he was a, a a GM slash advisor for the Lakers for many and many years. They had a fallout. He actually took his talents to Golden State up north, <laughs> help Golden State build what they built. He's currently helping the Los Angeles Clippers. Jerry West actually made a statement saying, all due respect to the Lakers who handled everything well, but as these things go, as these things go, LeBron was not was not a tough free agent signing. LeBron wanted to come to LA. He wanted to come to the Lakers, period. So who cares? He has a family he's thinking about and he has a home there. Yes. So is Jerry West in all due respect to his greatness? Is he just hating? Yes. Is that is that is that mm. sour grapes? Because because if he wanted to come to L.A., there is another team in L.A. As you mentioned, they share the same arena. Right. If you ask me personally, having the privilege of covering both teams, the Clippers locker room is a whole lot hell is way better. Really? Than, oh yes, the Clippers locker room is dope. Lakers well, locker room is cool. But Steve Ballmer has put a whole bunch of money. Clippers you know? locker room is dope. You know what I'm saying it's very dope how they have it set up. You can help. As you mentioned, you know you might be the first to build to, to win three or with, with uh, not the first, but to win three championships with three different teams. Blah zi, blah. The Clippers haven't been relevant in years. LeBron is coming into a whole new world, coming into the pedigree of the Lakers. He can go to the Clippers and just be bre- scot free. So is it hate? You know, like the Lakers still had to do a lot to get LeBron there. They had to make cap room. They had to make the roster appealing to LeBron. Is it hate or does Jerry West have a point? I mean, a point. They, I mean, point or no point, we don't care. <laughs> he's being an LA person. You can He's biased. But that's right what now. that's what that's what he's we did. We, we, we did. <laughs> he's biased, right? But see, as an LA biased. person, he's, he's a Laker, a Laker fan, and not a Laker right, fan. That's what we're talking you, about. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exa- exactly. <laughs> yeah. Boy, all the man, both my little brothers are Clipper fans or was. They now they're LeBron fans. So now they're Lakers fans. Something like that. So like, yeah, yeah, take it. The Clippers is like. The little brothers, the Falcons, bro. Like they are cursed. Oh man, hey, good, hey, good reference. I like that reference. <laughs> I like that reference. Anytime somebody dig dig at the Falcons, out. So what are you thinking, Jerry West? Is he is he hating? I mean, I can see why he said it because I mean, really, that, it wasn't that hard. And then the sale was, was once you got Magic. I mean, it was kind of written in stone. I mean, my so, man, that's a production company. Exactly. So it was. I always said this. I've been telling people it was, it was 75 percent business, twenty five percent basketball. Because I don't really think. I mean, yeah, he's he's still kind of in winning mode, but he's kind of more in. I'm trying to be the first active billionaire athlete. That part I was about to say. So he he's more in the uh, let me let me go be under two legit of magic, and let me see all this money that magic got. Bruh. Speaking of magic, he got a. Uh, I just saw on social media that he's embarking on an airport in Denver. So, Magic has all the money in the world. So, why <laughs> why not? If, if I'm LeBron James, I'm the biggest athlete besides Ronaldo in the world. I might well be under Magic. So, let me see what Magic, you know what I'm saying, what kind of ins and outs he got. Business meetings. So, build my, uh, build my uh, social media uh, clientele with Undisputed. And then get into the acting world. So, my will. It was, it was kind of like I said, 75% business. Basketball. I'm sorry. Much much love to the logo, Jerry West. I appreciate everything he's done as a member of the Lakers and everything he's done to help grow the game of basketball. Hating, sounds like a whole bunch of hell of a lot of hate to me. If you, if you ask me, it sounds like a bunch of hate. Because if he was a Clipper, we wouldn't hear any of this. And I'm going to just leave it at that. Imagine my say it. Uh, well, maybe. Maybe true. <laughs> but we wouldn't be hearing it from Jerry West. Somebody may say it, but we wouldn't, we wouldn't be hearing it from the great Jerry West. We appreciate you joining us at the desk today. Once again, let our people know where they can check you out on social media and how they can pick up some of your product. Yes. Um, well, you can get at me on uh, Instagram at Chief Green um, Lemonade, and that's Chief C H E I C H E I F S underscore lim- Green underscore Lemonade, and then just uh, what Big Four Two O on uh, my uh, regular Instagram, and then we're also Chief Green on Twitter. 
We'll yeah. be right back. We have plenty more to talk about. We're going to switch gears for a moment and actually speak on the WNBA. We're here in Atlanta, so we'll speak on the Atlanta Dream. They have a big game tomorrow for their sneaker night, and they also had a big yeah, win yesterday. So we'll talk about what the Atlanta Dream that. have going on in the WNBA. But first, check out this brief video. Recently, we sat down for our segment, Just Kicking It, where we speak with athletes about what they're listening to, their favorite footwear, and more. We caught up with Atlanta Dream guard Renee Montgomery, and she spoke on what she loves to wear, her love for Kobe Bryant, and a lot more. Check that out, and you'll be right back here at the desk. The Sideline Stories, presented by These Urban...